Welcome to Roughing It Outdoors. I'm Adam Meikle. Yellowstone National Park, probably the best place to go and view wildlife. For two friends, they go and do that exact thing every year. This past fall, they witnessed something they won't soon forget. I think part of the excitement at Yellowstone is you never know yeah. what you're going to see. For decades, friends Doug McCleave and Roger Lewis have been trekking to Yellowstone, all in an effort to view and videotape wildlife. I shoot the stills and Doug shoots the videos. And we usually try to go during the rut when the elk are active. You know, we've seen all kinds of, of elk fights. And during this time, they've witnessed many things most people only dream about. Encountering animals like the king of Yellowstone, the grizzly bear. Rutting bull moose, the scavenging coyote, and majestic bull elk tending to their herds. But this past September, they had an experience they will never, ever forget. Driving north towards a man with the twin lakes and we saw that cow elk bust out of there. And so we were out just kind of talking. We didn't even, weren't paying attention. We didn't have any of our cameras or anything. And all of a sudden the ranger turns to us and says, gentlemen, I'm gonna have to ask you to step back in your car. There's one walking right behind you. And sure enough, we turn around, there's a wolf. Just right across the road from us there. We didn't realize that was the beginning of the most amazing day we've ever had up there. I heard a noise come out from across the way there, and a cow elk came busting out of the trees. That was the first chase we saw, and it was a black wolf that had made its way around and was chasing this elk and ran right in front of us across the meadow. And she ran back into the water, by the way. What we figured out is the elk were going into the lake to get away from the wolves that were, that were stalking. Yeah, once they got her in the water at the lake, she, she would swim back and forth, and, and they'd take turns just telling her from the shore. And every time she wanted to get out at one end, they'd chase her back in. Initially, I don't know about Roger, I, I didn't realize what was happening. I thought the wolves were just kind of hanging around the water waiting for an opportunity um, for an elk to come out and then they'd chase it down. Well. Later, after this whole thing played out, we, we realized that that wasn't it at all. They, they had a strategy from the beginning. They had already picked their prey. They are just wearing her out, exhausting her. And another thing that I thought was fascinating was that there was a cow and a calf in, this, in the water. They would swim away to get away from the wolves whenever they got close, but then they would swim back to the shore, get into about knee-deep water, and just stand there. And they, stand, they stood back to back. And, and the calf would look one way, and the cow would look the other way, and they were just completely intense on watching for their own safety. I mean, the cow was trying to teach her calf how to survive. Then I could hear a splash, and I heard her start screaming. Yep. Uh, and I says, oh, man, I think they got her or whatever. Good for her. Swim, little girl. Swim, girl, swim. But you can actually see her in the water, and these two wolves on top of her. And I'm saying, swim, swim, <laughs> you know. And eventually she kept swimming and eventually they both dropped off. But then again, they started again and she just kept swimming back and forth and these wolves would walk the shoreline. She got away. The highlight of the whole thing was probably the last chase that we saw. And I turned my camera off and I was just talking to two other photographers that come down. All of a sudden I turn around and here she comes. I thought she was going to run into the camera, literally. I, I, was, I was figuring out what I was going to do because she was running directly at the camera, there was a wolf chasing her, and they literally came within about probably 15 feet. And I'll never forget the fear in her eyes as she's running for her life. You know? She ran out into the meadow, and once again, all of the wolves kind of converged. But by this time, she was so spent, she was so tired and exhausted. Um, I don't think it was much of an effort for, for the wolves. I think she to, just gave up personally. Yeah. I don't yeah, know I do too. how they killed her. She just, I'm done. And, and as we got closer, we could see people gathering. We knew that, that they had made the kill. And so whether you love wolves or hate wolves, or it, it doesn't matter. This was the most incredible wilderness wildlife experience that we've ever witnessed. And, and this was one of the most unique things we will, I think we'll ever see. To watch the entire video of this Yellowstone experience, log on to the Roughnet Outdoors page at KUTV.com. Wow, what an amazing piece of video, and thanks to Doug for submitting the story so that we could share with you their experience.